Why, hello, YouTube! Greetings from the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer to the first in the Combiner Wars Bruticus series. And coming to us straight from 99 is the Yellow Army Jeep, Swindle. Swindle may not be an original idea at its skeleton, as Rook, and other Combiner Wars deluxes have been doing similar things for months, but Swindle does an incredibly good job at switching things up so much, he feels like a fresh, entirely new mold into the Combiner Wars genre. Things are no longer about dragging health to zero, but rather to just have fun whacking around Autobots like a game of pinball, while bringing a wide range of vehicle designs into one solid package. As for the Jeep mode itself, I can't say enough just how incredible this looks. A mustard-colored army Jeep. Modifications I've made to this are painting the artillery bags gunmetal, as well as the dashboard and rims. The headlights and support bar silver, as well as the roll cage on the back silver too, and even the suspension on the inside. Basically, Swindle feels like they were totally onto something in the mechanics, but without the time or resources to really give it the polish it needed for its time. No, we'd have to wait another two years for the clone-heavy but speedy blast-off to come. One cool thing this guy does is that the items are actually really cool for this guy. I'm not even bothering to cover the A16s here, you all know by this point I hate them, but this ray gun can actually plug up top and rotate for driving shooty-shooty kablooey action, and for once, this doesn't look absolutely preposterous. No, this is the one time on a figure that I turn items on, because man, oh man, it looks great! Just compared to its predecessors, like Rook Fighter 2 Alpha here, there's just such a massive improvement that I just can't help but feel that this might just be the greatest deluxe figure there is. No, it's not quite polished or finished paint-wise, but it was the 90s, give it just a little bit of a break. As a side note, Rook Fighter 2 can also mount items, but it feels kind of forced, and I'm sure that it would break the meta of Rook or something. That being said, Rook had so much potential for items being turned on, that check out how improved this is now with the turret and taser. It's awesome! Anyway, let's move on to Robot Mode! And again, man, does Swindle ever just stand out in this genre. He looks the part, but yet loads better. I mean, he looks more similar to Bot than to Vehicle to Rook, but let's just talk about how much more he's improved. First off, the back kibble is far more concealed. I mean, it may stick out a little, but nothing like the toboggan that Rook had going. Whee! The hands are actually hands, the feet are symmetrical, just overall, I think this improves things so much. And it's why I prefer Swindle over Rook. It's the same, and yet, Swindle's his own thing altogether. Moving on then to another mode, that being Arm. This is a mode I never do for Swindle, and actually, Rook kind of does a better job at this. Swindle's rollbar kind of wrecks the look, and it's probably the reason why you don't see Swindle ever being used as a competitive thing. However, its best mode is right here, and that is the leg. It's essentially vehicle mode, with the front flipped, plugged into the foot, and this is just... Wow. This is probably the most intact limb mode I have ever seen. It looks so great, so tidy. This is where Swindle shines his brightest. Because even just comparing it to Rook, a leg we all kind of liked, but even that had a kibbly knee, this is just so nice looking. And it's all thanks to that roll bar, as Rook's roof is just too long and gets in the way. So basically, Swindle just might be the greatest leg mode Combiner Wars has ever seen, just from how tidy he is. The alt mode and bot mode are pretty fantastic too. Essentially, this is a great start to the Bruticus team, and we've got five more reviews coming. This has been the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer.